Hi, this is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing. Today I've got this beautiful two-tone lavender and cream Kenmore. I'm going to guess this is from about the early 60s. Really nice machine. Wait till you hear it run. It's a class 15 bobbin. Kind of bobbin goes in the bobbin case. Let me show you that. Bobbin, bobbin case. Goes in there. Thread goes under the tension spring. Oops. Sorry about that. Let's do that again. Okay. Hold the bobbin in this hand. Bobbin case here. And leave the thread under the tension spring. Pull the latch out. Stick it in on the spindle. Close the latch. Just let that thread hang free underneath there. Now let's thread the top. And let me if I want to wind the bottom. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Through the pigtail. Through the tension spring. There. And you take up thread. Take up levers at the top. Little piggy tail in there. You can open that up if you want to see that a little better. Here's light bulb switches over here. Okay. <coughs> and like most class 15 machines, which this is, it threads from left to right. Pull that through the needle. So that means the flat side of your needle is here. Okay, turn the hand wheel towards you to lift up the bobbin thread. There it is. This machine very nicely has a marked throat plate, 3 eighths all the way out to 1 inch with cornering guides. Really helps you when you're doing quilt piecing kind of things. Let's listen to it so. I'll tell you a few more things about it here. This is just some Oxford cloth, some shirting. This is your stitch length, and it's a um, metric system, 0 to 5. And here's the zigzag, which you can control manually like this. There's a 5, 0 being narrow, straight stitch, 5 being a wide zigzag. If you want to lock it at a wide zigzag, right here, you see that going up there? And that'll keep you at a wide zigzag. I'll show you that there in a minute. Let's get back down to straight stitch. Add about two and a half on the stitch length indicator. Hold your thread. And we're sewing. Listen to it. Just listen. So smooth. The iPod, which wants to fall over. Yeah. And look at the quality of that stitch. Really nice. Let's go with the zigzag here. So I can do a momentary zigzag like that. If I want to lock it in a zigzag position, go ahead and roll that all the way up. Now let's put that zigzag really close together by turning this down to zero. And we have a nice satin stitch there coming out the back. Let's drop the feet here and loosen the pressure here. Now we can move the machine any way we want. This is great for free motion embroidery or mending. You can just cover that whole area. And it's doing it very smoothly. Back to regular sewing. Put some pressure on. Raise your feed. Back to letting the machine do it. Okay, reverse is right in the center here. Very easy. This is a very smooth and powerful sewing machine, and not to mention it's pretty. It's not perfect. I said it's from the early 60s, and does have a few little wear marks here and there. But I don't think I've ever seen one in this sort of silvery lavender and and cream color. It's very pretty. 
This is a high quality sewing machine from Old Sears Kenmore. We would love to see you have it in your home. Ask us how. Thanks a lot.